Take a trip down Main Street and you will see all the progress in the city of Clawson. But a look inside the police department and you'll see history being made. First female chief, but the department's pretty progressive for the small. Yes, it is. Um, for only 16 officers, we actually have four women, which is really exciting. Um, I spent most of my career here being the only female officer. And in 2021, we hired another female and since then two more. So we have four of us now and that's, um, that's very exciting. Another unique thing about Clawson is that we're pretty diverse in general, you know, as far as backgrounds and ethnicity and for such a small place to be. So I'm excited about that. Wow, and one of those females, a veteran. Yes, she is. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yep, she uh, does a very good job for us. So, Chief, what's so special about you know how you operate and you know some of the missions that you have um, internally? We have a really, really outstanding group of men and women that work for our police department. You know, they're compassionate. They really care about the community, and I think that's important in order to give the best services to your community. Um, some initiatives we've taken, though, um, since I started, we've assembled a peer support team. So that's something new to Clawson, and we have a group of officers, including our chaplain, who is going to um, attend specialized training in November um, to really get that up and running. And it's really important because in order for us to be the best for our community, we need to be the best for us first. So. Well, you say community partnership is important, and you were talking about a surveillance program initiative through cameras that you have with citizens. Yes, yeah, so we started in June a virtual neighborhood watch program. And so what that entails really is the resident or business owner registering their surveillance camera with us. It does not give us access to the footage. Okay. But what it does is give us immediate access to who we need to contact if we need to see the footage to assist with finding a missing person or to assist with, you know, solving a crime. In a small community like this, you know, the police department can't do it all. We really rely on our partnership with the community to be vigilant and to assist us in solving crime. So, yeah. you know. Well, that's so appreciated. I enjoyed our time today, Chief. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You. Yeah, thank thanks. You. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> and that close connect with the community, they hope will also manifest into side-by-side -side assistance. Clawson having a Citizens Police Academy in February. So if you're interested, Sergeant Horn would like to hear from you, Jay Horn at cityofclawson.com. It'll be interesting to see how effective uh, that, that neighborhood um, camera situation ends up becoming for future cases down the road. Oh yes, I mean because they know who they can call right away because they're willing. So that's pretty brilliant. Yeah.